Dun 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 dun. Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy fellow. <laughs> Learn from their ways and be wise. Uh huh. Dun 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 dun. dun. Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy fellow. <laughs> Learn from their ways and be wise. Uh huh. For though they have no king to make them work, mm-hmm, yet they labor hard all summer, gathering food for winter. Yeah. Um. Of course, if you didn't get that one, I'll make it even simpler. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 20, the Living Bible. The wise... You read it yourself. You are seeing it now. It's on the screen. Read. One, two, go. The wise man saves for the future, but the foolish man spends whatever he gets. He spends whatever he gets. The wise man saves for the future. The foolish man spends whatever he gets. Like tomorrow is not coming. Listen, the problem is not the size of a man's income. The problem is the size of his mind. The way he thinks. Tell somebody, it doesn't matter how much you receive. Listen, if you follow what I'm going to share with you now, it will make you rich. I mean in in cash and assets and lands. And you know what I mean now. I'm trying to say in all the things that money can refer to. Everything. You see, maybe I should give you a little more story. How I started saving. Okay? Because he just told you that the foolish man spends whatever he gets. He says, but the wise man saves for the future. We were still a young church and um, we had to spend everything because in fact I also got money from you know the friends and others who who sent me money all the money we could get in the church was not enough so I needed more money and thank God I never had to ask them but they sent me money and so We would use money for hiring chairs, money for hiring the place, money for, just name it, follow up. I'll I'll give them money to go and visit, you know, write down the names of all the people who are going to visit during the week. Okay, I'll go on visitation and then my other folks who go out on visitation would divide all the people who are going to visit. So there's some of you here, I came to visit you. Yeah. So we'll do all that. And we're spending all the money. Because there was just not enough. One day, I called the Pastor Tom, who was not Reverend Tom now, Pastor Tom. And I I called him and I said, uh, he was the one who was keeping the records. So I said, how much did we receive this past month? He went, got his records, and he said to me, 8,000 naira. I said, so how much is left? (laughs) He smiled, he said, it's finished. (laughs) I said, 8,000 naira is finished. I didn't even know that we we could have 8,000 naira. I said, impossible. 8,000? How? 
What did we do for, with 8,000? He was trying to write the things. That, I was not interested. No, he didn't get my point. My point wasn't give me the list of what we did. I was not trying to balance the equation. My point was, what in the world did I do with 8,000 naira? Dear God. I said, what about the previous month? 8,000 naira, about, you know, somewhere around 8,000 naira also. So I found out that in the last three months, we had had up to 8,000 naira each month. I said, I spent 8,000 naira, God Almighty, on what? This is impossible. How could I have done that? Spent everything? How, how could I? Then I said, now, let me tell you what. From this month, you will save 5,000 naira. Hear what I'm telling you. We will use only three. Listen to me. I didn't say save three. We will use five. I said save five. We will use three. He said, okay. That month, for the first time, he saved 5,000 naira. We operated with three. And we had some extra over the five. For the first time, we had money. Every time it finished, it was normal. And there was no problem. We weren't owing anybody. So we could have continued. I said, what? That's wrong. I said, save five. At the end of this month, we had 5,000 naira owing nobody. We were rich. That was the beginning. And from then on, I knew how to save. And I would save and save and always save. Because God said to save. He said, if you are wise, you will save. If you are a fool, you will spend everything. Are you following what I'm telling you? Imagine that you wanted a facility from a bank. They will ask you, how much do you have? Then you say, I don't have anything. I just want you to give me everything. They say, get out of here. <laughs> you have to have something. And from there, I started learning to have something. I saved five. And the rest is history. I kept on saving. I kept on saving much more than I received. Because I determined that I was not going to save 20%. No, not 50%. I will save more. Five out of eight to be saved. What a principle. So principle number one. You already know it, right? Spend less than you earn. Much less than you earn. Be wise. 